Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics. Thanks for joining us today. Today's video is how to handle and replace multiple characters. Just realized I spelled multiple wrong. Multiple characters uh, with string replace or something else. So if you're new here, thanks for joining us. This is what we do. We do micro videos, uh, one subject upon a time, and we're actually going to blend this into our uh, API um, video for our Ameritrade stock screener. So like I said, if you're new here, thank you very much for joining us. We have, uh, let's see, we have over 800 videos. We have a Discord server. We have a GitHub repository. We have everything you can think of. So, all right, let's just go ahead and throw this in here. So our dilemma right now is we need to, Windows does not like spaces and it does not like special characters for our um, file names. And the reason why we're doing this is how to handle multiple files, automated file generation names. So what came to thought was, this is a challenge that we had a while ago, was time. I don't have to come up with a name because time is constantly moving, so the name is going to be different, and it's arbitrary. I don't care what it is. It's a pickle file. But then I noticed that I had a problem. So I couldn't just leave this because Windows would throw up all over the place. So then the, then the dilemma came, well, I need to replace these. Well, I got two different types, so I have to do this twice. So the search began. So I started looking, and there's actually three ways to do it. So let's just look at it, and there's a very there, there are two clumsy ways. One's a little less clumsy than the other, and then there's a very elegant and eloquent way to do it. So let's just go ahead and jump after it. So uh, let's see. Uh, so the first one is going to be, uh, so file equals file dot replace so we're going to utilize replace and it goes old and new so I want to get rid of first the space and I want to replace that with an underscore all right now I could do this then so let's see should have done print all right so let's throw in file all right so there we go. So there's so then I have to come and go file equals file dot replace. Then I go boom. Then underscore and I run. So I have to do this twice. Okay. Then, of course, I'm looking through and I see that, oh, I can just tab this on, replace, and then I can go here, and then my underscore, oops. So then I go through and I have this all on one line, but this is a, a little a little odd. So let me, so now I can also use a for loop for, so I have my change. And here are the characters that I wanna change, a space and this. For character in change. Oh, that's not what I want. Then file equals file dot replace. And the old will be the character and the new will be our underscore. So this is a little bit more elegant. All right, I got this all on one line. Or another way, import our re 
our regular expression. And we've seen this where we can then just go file equals re.sub and then we're going to then pass it inside our brackets everything that we want replaced. We want a space replaced and we want our colon replaced and we want to replace it oops and we want to replace it with our underscore and oops and then we also need to then pass it file there we go and we are good to go and as we can see right here oops and I got one too many boom there we go now you have three ways to do this but this is how you replace multiple because this is what I want to point out if you have five different types of characters you would have replace all the way off your screen this gets a little neater and cleaner I find this being best practice so there we go guys absolutely great tool and as you'll see we'll literally need to be doing this uh, in our next video for our API so stay tuned for that and make sure you're hitting that like subscribe and notification bell sharing this join in discord dropping a comment down below uh, join in for help just don't be alone in this so as always guys thanks so much for watching stay tuned for these right here and as always we'll see you next time bye guys hey guys thanks for joining us today I hope you really enjoyed today's video and if you haven't check out this video right here or this one right down here and most important make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell thanks again for joining us and we hope to see you next time bye guys